Meet this brand new AI chatbox platform called Grok. A leader by miles in speed and efficiency in AI processing, 10 times faster than GPU-based ChatGPT. This breakthrough might mean we're entering an entirely new era for large language models. Now, if you're just hearing of Grok AI for the first time, it's fine. The AI is pretty new. But in the next few minutes of this video, I will show you everything you need to know about this new AI and why it currently stands out as the fastest AI in the world. If you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to use this AI to your advantage, stick with me. So, how do they do it? Well, instead of using the usual hardware suspects like GPUs, they've got their secret source, the Language Processing Units, LPUs. This allows them to process AI data much faster and more efficiently, leading to faster and more accurate results. Even when operating chatbots, a lot of AI businesses employ GPUs because they can do technical computations rapidly and efficiently. Building on the example of chatbots, LLMs like GPT-3 work by analyzing prompts and generating text for you based on a series of predictions about which word should come after the one that came before. Grok accomplishes this by developing the Tensor Streaming Processor, TSP, a processing unit that does not require GPUs and is intended to provide deterministic performance for AI computations. GPUs, on the other hand, are designed with many cores for parallel graphics processing. One NVIDIA H100 GPU, for example, has 14,592 CUDA cores. The architecture of the LPU departs from the GPU's single instruction multiple data model in favor of a more simplified strategy that does away with the requirement for intricate scheduling hardware. According to Jay Scrambler, managing director of AI company Capstone Bridge, this design allows every clock cycle to be utilized effectively, ensuring consistent latency and throughput in a LinkedIn post. The LPU's increased efficiency can be attributed in part to its ability to eliminate the burden of managing multiple threads and core underutilization. Because an LPU can process information at a higher rate, text sequences can be produced much more quickly. Most importantly, TSP do not have the conventional GPU cluster bottlenecks that can be connected and scaled together. As a result, performance increases linearly as more LPUs are added. But let's face it, when it's a race against time, Grok is the one to beat. Their LPUs are tailor-made for tasks like processing language, code, music, you name it. It's like they've got a turbo boost button for crunching data. And the best part? Ross's team has confirmed that they run AI models at speeds up to 10 times faster than GPU-based folks. That's like going from snail mail to instant messaging. Talk about a game changer! According to Tom's hardware, Grok's engine and API are already being used by users to perform LLMs at rates up to 10 times quicker than GPU-based solutions. When he tested Grok, he was able to receive more than 300 tokens per second, which is faster than GPT-4 on ChatGPT. Unlike ChatGPT, Gemini, or Grok, which are chatbots, Grok is an interface engine. It does not completely replace these chatbots, but it does make them function much faster. Now, let's look at how Grok can be applied in different scenarios. Grok's LPU can be used to test run various chatbots and see how quickly they operate on the company's website. A third-party test from Artificial Analysis released some weeks ago shows that Grok generates 247 tokens per second compared to Microsoft's 18 tokens per second. Accordingly, ChatGPT could operate at a speed of over 13 times faster if it were powered by Grok's chips. If chatbots like Elon Musk's Grok, Gemini, and ChatGPT were faster, they could be a lot more helpful. These models' inability to match human speech in real time is one of their current limitations. Certain delays cause dialogues to sound robotic. Recently, Google staged its Gemini demo to give the impression that the device could hold a multimodal, real-time conversation even though it can't. However, given Grok's faster speeds, that video might happen. Before Grok, Ross was a co-founder of Google's AI chip division, which manufactured state-of-the-art chips used for AI model training. Compute density and memory bandwidth are two LLM bottlenecks that GPUs and CPUs become stuck on, according to Ross, and Grok gets around them with LPUs. According to a demo uploaded on X, Grok generates hundreds of words in a factual response, 
in a split second, citing sources along the way. In a different demonstration, founder and CEO Jonathan Ross allowed a CNN host to speak verbally and in real time with the AI chatbot on live television all the way across the world. The response from Grok left the host in awe. She couldn't believe it as it felt so real, like she was having a conversation with a human. At one point, she was heard asking Ross in disbelief if he's sure he didn't tell the AI anything. You see, though ChatGPT, Gemini, and additional chatbots are impressive, Grok has the potential to make them extremely quick, quick enough to have real-world applications in the interim. When asked where he got the idea for the name Grok, Ross mentioned Robert Heinlein's 1961 science fiction novel Stranger in a Strange Land. The meaning of the word is to comprehend something deeply and with empathy. This also explains why so many AI businesses use it to market their AI solutions. In addition to Elon Musk's Grok and Ross's Grok, there is also an AI-enabled IT company called Grok. Grimes also owns an AI-powered toy called Grok, which is allegedly named after the way Musk's and Grimes' kids pronounce Grokit. Ross, however, asserts that he first used Grok in 2016. Despite the excitement surrounding Grok, it is unclear whether its AI chips will be as scalable as NVIDIA's GPUs or Google's TPUs. These days, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is very focused on AI chips and is even thinking about creating them himself. Grok's faster chip could spur innovation in the AI space and open up new avenues for AI chatbots to communicate with humans in real time. Still, a lot of people on social media have started contrasting the LPU model with other well-known GPU-based models. Grok is a game-changer for products that need low latency, which is the amount of time it takes to process a request and get a response, according to one user who works in AI development. According to a comment made by another user, Grok's LPUs may provide a massive improvement over GPUs in the future for meeting the demands of AI applications. It may also prove to be a viable substitute for the high-performing hardware of NVIDIA's highly sought-after A100 and H100 chips. This is happening at a time when big AI developers are trying to create their chips instead of depending solely on NVIDIA's models. Governments and investors around the world are reportedly offering OpenAI trillions of dollars in funding to help it develop its chip and solve scaling issues with its products. So, while ChatGPT and NVIDIA are happily cruising along, Grok is out there breaking speed records and leaving us in the dust. But hey, someone's got to keep things interesting in the AI race, right? I can't wait to share more about this AI with you as more information about it continues to emerge. Are you subscribed to this channel? This is the perfect time to do that. Make sure you share your thoughts about this AI in the comment section below. See you in the next video.